You're watching Alabama's WVUA News at 5 with your award-winning news team, Lynn Brooks, Terry Brewer, weather with Richard Scott, and sports with Gary Harris. Coming up in home team weather, still very nice on this Friday evening. 60s and low 70s out there area-wide, but what about the rest of the forecast, your weekend forecast? Home team weather is coming up. Stay with us. Plus, find out how one family teams up to get the best deals on Black Friday. And it's Iron Bowl Eve. How do some Bama fans feel about this year's big rivalry game? Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt McCoy. Lynn Brooks and Terry Brewer have the night off. Topping the news tonight, holiday sales kicked into full gear this morning. Shoppers across the country and right here in West Alabama crammed into malls and retail outlets trying to find sales or just the right Christmas gifts. And we have details in tonight's top story. The day started off early for thousands of shoppers in Tuscaloosa. In fact, for some, last night at Toys R Us, the deals started Thanksgiving night at 9 p.m. The line stretched around the sidewalk, reaching all the way to the other end of the shopping center. Customers say they stood in line just for their kids. I mean, you got to do it for your kids. They have a tablet in here that's 50% off, so that's really what I'm coming for. Nobody said anything about crazy. <laughs> We just love the shop. Shoppers also got a head start picking out electronics. Best Buy opened up at midnight and customers swarmed the area in Midtown Village to get their hands on the latest gadgets. Some of the big electronic items this year, e-readers, Blu-ray players, and Blu-ray disc, and big screen and flat screen televisions. WVUA spoke with customers who say they just love the Black Friday excitement. Hundred dollar off a TV for a twenty two inch Dynax or something for seventy nine dollars and that's already gone and now I'm kind of waiting around to see um, for an iPod Touch. A rush, it's just a rush. The hustle and bustle hey and guys, elbows we're and around. everything. We have so it's great. The scene was also similar at Target in Tuscaloosa. The line stretched around the building as thousands of shoppers waited in the cold. For the midnight opening, customers flooded the store to get their hands on doorbuster deals. We spoke with Bat Harris, who was in line for the Target early to get a great deal. We've been getting a lot of comments, people kind of smirking, laughing that they think, I guess it's a little too long, but I think it's, they're probably a little jealous that we're in the front and we're definitely going to get what we, what we came to get. Retailers in Alabama and across the nation have already reported heavy crowds today. While those student line and for Black Friday wanted to get a chance to get their hands on the best deals, WVUA caught up with one group of about 20 women from Fayette who had a master plan to catch those deals. Now the group calls themselves the Morgan Girls and they hit the shopping areas in Tuscaloosa to find the best deals in town. This was before, has become a tradition for the Morgan Girls for the last six years. They say they split up and get the deals they want. Depends on who's actually wanting what, and um, if like you're, if we have people wanting something from two places, then we just have to split up and right. we like map it out. See, I, have, I have somebody getting stuff for me up there. My aunt is getting stuff. They're a crazy bunch. Well, the Morgan girls say after they finish shopping, they all meet back at IHOP at 5 a.m. Meanwhile, their husbands are getting ready to go to the Iron Bowl. Well, it's no secret stories showcase some of their. Best deals on the season on Black Friday. But did you know it's also apparently a good day to go car shopping? In fact, a report by TrueCars.com says this year, Black Friday is the best day of the year to buy a new vehicle. The website reports automakers will be offering big deals on, two, uh, on 2011 and 2012 models. According to the report, you could save thousands of dollars on a new car. It says this year's best deals will be on the 2011 Mitsubishi Endeavor, the 2011 Sh Chevrolet and Silverado, and the 2011 Chrysler 200. Well, for people who hate dealing with the, crowded, the crowds on Black Friday, the deals online seem to be growing as well. But, for, but authorities say internet shopping is hurting revenue collections for state and local governments in Alabama. A 2009 study predicted that the growth of internet shopping will result in at least $11.4 billion in lost sales tax revenue nationwide by next year. The lost revenue comes from internet shoppers ignoring Alabama's state use tax, the equivalent of a sales tax imposed on Alabama's residents out of state purchases where the seller does not collect Alabama's sales tax. Alabama's home team weather. 
Well, on your home team, Crime Watch, a uh, man is behind bars tonight after an altercation early this morning. Tuscaloosa police responded to a shooting at the Orchid Lounge around 2 o'clock this morning. Captain Lloyd Baker with the Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide says when they arrived on the scene, officers located the victim, a 23-year-old male with a single gunshot wound to the hand. Witnesses stated the victim was shot during an altercation. Witnesses also say that's when 23-year-old male Sidney Calhoun shot into the victim's vehicle. The victim's wound to the left hand was non-life-threatening. Calhoun is in the Tuscaloosa County Jail on an arrest warrant for shooting into an occupied vehicle. Well, if you're planning on doing some more shopping or going down to Auburn for this Iron Bowl weekend, we can expect for the good weather. Richard's here to tell us about what we can expect all around the state. Richard? Hey, Meg, good Friday evening to you. Right now, locally, it feels great out there. 64 degrees, Tuscaloosa, getting cooler out there. Some of the cooler spots back in the 50s. Uh, still, either way you cut, it's still nice out there for this time of the year. Now, Iron Bowl happening tomorrow. Alabama takes on Auburn down at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Now, temperature's going to be warm during the game. In fact, 70s are likely to upper 60s to wrap things up. A lot of cloud cover. No chance of rain at this point during the game, which is great news. Area-wide, we're talking temperatures in the 70s tomorrow. How about the rest of that forecast? And we'll look towards Sunday and Monday. It gets kind of complicated. Your forecast is coming up in Maine weather. Thanks, Richard. Well, Ready or not, the Iron Bowl is almost here. Now it's Iron Bowl Eve, and you're getting a live look at Tumor's Corner in Auburn right now. Alabama and Auburn fans will merge together in what they called the loveliest village on the plains. As we speak, the annual clash between the Tide and Tigers is always important to fans on both sides, but this year's game is particularly important to Bama fans. The Tide's got a lot riding on it, including a spot in the BCS National Championship game. WBUA spoke with some Bama fans who say both teams have the motivation to play hard. I think we should beat the crap out of them. You know, uh, 21 point spread, I think we should, 28 points, what I think. I think it's going to be a close ball game. Uh, I think Auburn's got the motiv motivation because of the trees. Um, Alabama has, has the motivation because of the tor tornado wanting to do real good and all like that. But, you know, uh, and it's just going to be a lot closer game than, than what everybody thinks. Well, the Iron Bowl kickoff is set for 2.30 tomorrow in Jordan-Hare Stadium, and it'll be televised on CBS. But before the game, don't forget to start your Iron Bowl Saturday with the Crimson Tide kickoff. Join Gary Harris, who will be live here in the studio, and John Huddleston, who will be live down on the plains of Auburn University. That's Crimson Tide kickoff right, right and early, beginning at 8 a.m., right here on WBUA.